What is going on, guys? This is Blue by Bees. How to draw a fantasy world map. Uh, today, I'm just going to show you how to draw one of my fancy little compasses I draw. Um, as you can see, I've already laid out two circles that's going to compose the dividing line for your compass. So, the first thing first is you've got to retrace this circle with something bigger. Oh, actually. So. Yeah, right. Yeah, as you can see, this little thing here I'm using right now is nothing fancy. It's just a little old toothpaste cap. Actually, I think it's a floss. I think it's a mouth floss cap, actually. I don't remember. But, uh, yeah, first draw a circle. And then you flip over the circle, and hopefully by eyeballing it, you can actually uh, find the right size. Once you judge the circle and... There we go. So that's about the right so correct size is okay. So yeah, there we go. The first two circles are done. As you can see. So here are the first two circles. Um, this is basically the outer ring that's going to compose of the compass points. And now, what you do next is, could be easy, could be tricky, depending on, you know, I don't know, just get a ruler with a plastic one like these, cheap ones you can get. And what you do is you draw a simple cross. And how to find the center point is very easy. If you use the compass, uh, get one of these. Uh, steel ones. Don't get those cheap plastic ones. Those things will open so and they will cause a lot of havoc while you're drawing. You don't want that. So get one of these Stadler metal. I've had this compass for about five years and it's still good. And so that needle point had to be replaced but after getting that needle down well you'll have a hole on your paper. As you can see I'm gonna close up on here and I actually can't really do it much but as you can see as you can see, there is a little circle that you can, there's a little impact hole that you did. You can kind of feel it actually if you touch it. So, yeah, so now you just draw a circle a little there like that. Now, the next step is take these two points at the inner circle where the cross and the circle crosses. And what you do is you mark out a little diagonal like this. If you use a pencil, it's easier to do it with a pencil because you could erase your mistakes and whatnot, but I'm doing it with a ballpoint pen because this is a really quick tutorial. Um, if you want, I will post more tutorials in the end depending on how much people send a request. Because I think there's going to be a ton more I might be able to do if I have enough time. Or if I get, if I don't get too lazy with my time. So, yep. So, the next step is draw the opposite diagonal. The Next set of cross diagonals like this, like so, like so. I'm gonna put the phone back down. No. Yes, and I am actually recording with a phone, so guys, sorry if the quality is a little bit poor. Once I get a nice camcorder, then I will be able to uh, start recording a little bit of a nicer quality video, and so on, and so forth, etc., etc. <laughs> yeah. So the next stage is, well, let me draw first, and then I'll explain what will happen after, because I, because drawing at the same time and talking at the same time usually don't mix for me, so it's a little hectic right now. As you can tell, this is Blue Baby's first tutorial made ever, so, so... My ruler's measurement is actually inches, so what I did was, I just did, uh, I think it's 1 16th of, no, 1 8th actually. So I marked off 1 8th ticks, tick marks at every single intersecting point like this, and now what you do is you, using, that, now what you do is, um, you take these points and go to the inner points here, and mark it off like this. And basically, these become the compass rosette. 
Now, this, by doing this, you'll make a... This is basically a simple 8-point rosette. If you want a 16-pointer, so you want to extend it to a 16-point rosette, then what you can do is, well... And of course, if you don't want to draw the all eight lines at first, and you just want to go straight and draw, the, another method to divide evenly without screwing up is just look at the where the middle point of the these um, diagonal lines intersect right here. This two points here. And then what you do is okay, you know what? Because I can looks like I'm going to actually have to hold the camera actually and start and do the video tutorial. This phone holder just doesn't hold it tight enough for me. Okay, so whatever. So, as you can see, these diagonal points here is where you can divide. I've already marked it out because, you know, this diagonal line already kind of shows you what it is. So, what's next is let's go finish the other parts of the triangle. So, it's kind of tricky to actually draw without... So, you know what? I'm going to actually pop. I'm gonna f eyeball this one because it is a tutorial after all so I won't go too nice and besides these are I'm gonna throw them away anyway so the next set of points diagonal here guys a good way to eyeball is look at the distance between your point of eyeballing and try to draw an imaginary line that goes right through it. When you do that, you can get a relatively straight, uh, fairly uh, well-drawn line without really screwing up that much, but only if you're experienced. And the next thing is, while you're alternating here, on this right here, alternating color black and white, alternating to represent the nautical line markers. If you want to make it a little bit fancier, then what you do is you divide up further so this is a more simple version right here like this and then next thing you do is while well, going on a complete diagonal circle like this uh, draw just fill in this diagonals here like this make sure that the outer uh, shading parts don't go in to the middle compass rosette because if it goes inside then it's gonna look really uh, messy and I don't want any you don't want any messy compass points and then do a diagonal shading here like this Uh-oh, uh-oh, hold on, hold on. Hey, what the? Okay, there we go. <laughs> uh-oh, my paper just ran out of here. So, yeah, there you go. That's a basic compass. And then, of course, you could add a little finishing touch, such as... But, of course, well, this is only just a really quick tutorial anyway. But what I really wanted to show you was this. So, once you get it really nicely touched like this, then add a little north pointer arrow indicator thingy and once you shade it nice it should turn like this and of course you could just put it on a map like this and you'll end up making a nice little map what am I doing on my time here? looks like about nine minutes oh yeah hint and tip oh yeah a little tip on this one um, for the circle the best way to get a perfect circle is try to get a circle little circular tool like this, like this little uh, cap thing. Just try to find the center point with your compass and then sketch it out with a pencil. And that way, well not with a pencil, but with a compass. And then what you do is you just, you just replace it onto the uh, thing and then just use your ballpoint pen to uh, draw. Whatever, like that. Something like that. Yeah, something like that. Thanks for watching, guys! Bye!